All right, here I am in a zone called Night Ward, and I have to complete a quest called C Counterspell. Um, everything in this zone is weird. Um, if you look over here, the enemies you'd fight. Just one of the enemies I've found so far. Oh, come on, lag. The lag's been terrible today. Um, yeah, lightning storms. Your enemy is lightning storm. And I kill lightning storms with lightning itself. Because why not, right? It's City of Heroes. Everything dies, no matter what. You don't have, like, a... Like, if you were playing World of Warcraft and you found a, uh, water elemental, and you tried to use, like, water spells, I mean, I know no one has water spells, you can say ice, an ice elemental, the wizard uses his ice attacks on him, he's an ice wizard. Next thing you know, uh, nothing's happening. Alright, so, this is a pretty cool thing. This is the place I'm currently getting quests from. Pretty awesome, right? Cre creepy old house. This is the Night Ward, it's kind of like Croatoa, but it seems a little better, more creepy and less weird ghosts. Alright, hey, there's someone in here. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy is crazy looking. Alright, so you gotta go past all these guys. There's another dude in here. This is the first time I've seen anyone in this zone. But uh, I haven't been doing a lot of questing here. So when you go in here, annoyingly enough, it does not give you a map. Look at that. No map whatsoever in here. Um, so you just sort of have to navigate what looks like Council of Thorns freaking... Yeah, it's horrible. Alright, so I talked to this guy. He says, what you want? I need to take down spell magic, but I can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. Now you can. He shut down every spell and magic dingus you have at your disposal. Nothing would work, but they don't call me Mr. Counterspell for nothing. I know the counter to everything. I can help you, but first you need to help me, of course. What is the task you require? Oh, mighty Counterspell. I'm a magic person. My magic, uh origin everything i have technically is magic so him saying shuts down all magic i'd just be like falling on the floor dead basically prove your worth by destroying seven rogue animus arcana here in night ward take them out will show me i am not playing with a lightweight and that together we can get the job done as i said it's hard for me to read the text i don't know why somehow the background i tried to change it to darker something about it all right so we're not we're gonna skip his quest because i have this one uh Right over here, and set it to the main quest. Where is it at? First ward. Select task. Alright, so search the ward for Shepherd's Havens. And that happens... Right... Here, I thought. Can I go in this? Okay, well. Talk to this dude. Alright, well, he's just like, abandon your mission or come back. So I gotta go into first. I gotta go into first ward. That's that's why. I don't wanna do the mission in first ward. I selected the wrong one. Seven Animus, Night Ward. There it is. There we go. Come on, there we are. Destroy a fraction. <laughs> Destroy the fractine and defeat inventor of the Night Ward. Okay, now I can go in this, I bet. Oh, I have to click on it, that's why. If I had clicked on it before, it would automatically set this quest. I'm an idiot. This is, uh, this is not live. I'm not streaming this because I found that if I stream the, uh, if I stream the, <laughs> the video, it does not turn out well. So, like, it does not run very well. Hey, there's people in here. Are you ready for this, Solar Knight? No, uh, mercenary. The trio prepared themselves for the battles ahead. With all three of us, this should be a breeze, said Mercenary. Your cockiness will be your undoing, replied Epoch. If anyone's not going to make it out there, it'll be you, old man, Mercenary said in jest. Yet his words rang in Solar Knight's head as frighteningly prophetic. Let's go. Alright, so. I got our defeat Fractine's creator and destroy Fractine. Let's see what level these dudes are. 25 and the 29 boss that's figures I'm, I'm level 30 so 29 boss is kind of below me but I took this mission of course it on target then when I do that so that's the 25 I need to target him where's the level 30 boss I bet he's waiting on the other side that's why all right so everyone's going to survive this mission um, I think I'll go outside of it and reset it real fast because if I reset it, 
it'll be a little bit harder. I only have really 20 minutes to make this video because I got tons of stuff that I got to do in between. So I'm trying to make this video. Um, it's going to be noisy because there's going to be people coming in and out of my room playing games. But anyway, I have to go back out to reset the mission because it's terrible. Alright, so... No, that's not it. We'll select this task. Alright, then we're gonna... We're gonna reset it before we select the task, so... I'm just in notoriety level to... Well, it was 25, 30, so plus 2. And I'm gonna keep the team size to 2, so there's more enemies in it. Now I'm gonna select it and hope that that is, uh... I should get them, like, closer to my uh, level with some random level 31 bosses all over the place, so... If you don't set team size to 2, you definitely won't get any bosses in your mission whatsoever. Maybe, well, maybe you'll get one at the very end. Like, if there's someone you have to defeat or rescue, there'll be a boss next to them. Alright, I don't care. Come on, let's go, guys. Do, do I need to talk to you? Oh, yeah, I gotta talk to them. Shh. I already said what they said. Yes, let's go. I'm done. Better turn off my super speed or they won't be able to follow me because that seems to be how these things work. All right, now let's see what we got here. 28, and yeah, that's at least within my level. Once I defeat this mission, it'll all of a sudden start putting things at the correct level. I'll have to turn it down, actually, because a plus three can be making level 33 and 35 in my mission, and then if I'm setting it to two people, that'll create just giant groups of things that can kill me easily. So let's see here, is any bosses around? Nope. Yeah, Alright, my dudes are following me around. That guy apparently uses a gun. So badass. I love it when superheroes use guns. What the is that? I use my gun to shoot this. I, I, I can't get myself to play any class that's like a shotgun or a gun or anything. Like, I guess some people would... Because in real life, I mean, that's what you, what you have as a weapon, but... In my fantasy mind, it is just like guns are the last thing I want to be using as my superpower. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against people doing that. Uh, that's their thing. But for me, I just don't feel like a superhero I'm running around using a gun like any any person could do. The, the, the real life superheroes out there, the policemen and military and everybody who puts their life on the line in my fantasy world where nobody's actually dying and everyone's being knocked out and sent to the hospital, I would like to have my hands be giant tasers and shock everybody to to pass out level. Alright, so I gotta be yep, alright, there's, there's just two doors. They probably go to the same Oh, that's an elevator. Never mind. Two elevators right next to each other. There's a potential. Did they come with me? Alright. Well, okay, both of them did. Alright, and that goes down there to a door I can't open, so I hope this is nip this is another elevator. Oh my god. Back up to where I was. Both elevators go to the same place. Look at this dude. Old martial artist and a gun toting mercenary man. Uh, hopefully because I have this set to enough to where I actually get oh yeah, I have a boss selected from where? Where is this said boss I have selected at? Oh, it's mercenary. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright. You can go that way, can't go that way. Wherever the blue doors are, those are the ones you can go through. I'm looking for uh, Fractian. Fractian. Nope, just the mender. Always take out the mender first, they heal everybody. Just like uh, you take out the torture first if you're fighting the sea. Which I didn't really get to fight a lot of. I kind of wish I did. I like fighting with the team, just because it's fun to have like a bunch of ninjas attacking me. I mean, in, in my fantasy world too, people using swords to block bullets and stuff are kind of one of my jams as well. I just think it's awesome. Other Mender. Go in a cage, you fool. Oh, he died too fast. Alright, I might not get hurt much by these guys because they're mostly one level below me. But either way... At least I'm getting experience points from killing them now versus before when I would have gotten nothing and just... Alright, where's... That's, that's so much lag in this thing. My powers don't recharge the way they should a lot of the time. Apparently I just 
can't get people to leave me alone while I'm doing this. But that's what happens. Alright. Huh. Sometimes, because you can hold the two mouse buttons and then it will it'll make you run. So like right now I'm running by holding the mouse buttons, but sometimes because of the lag, you'll like run right past the thing you wanted to fight. When you're fighting with a melee character a lot, if you're using like one, two, three, four, or five and hot heat to attack, you'll end up uh, a lot of the time pushing uh, left and right at the same time in order to run so that your other hand can hit one, two, three, four and navigate and move around and turn left and right with the right buttons. Oh, this is already where I was. Uh, and that's the elevator I took. I do not want to do that again. Alright, I'll turn on my mini super speed. Mini super speed. I should set this as ninja run instead of sprint. I'm crazy like that. I just forget. Alright, and uh, let's see here. That way. Nope. Well, maybe. Maybe that way. Sometimes those big doors open. Nope. nope just a... They could have put at least like a bad guy in the hallway. But, you know, everything here is procedurally generated, so... Oh, was that a mender? No, it's a builder. Still making him out for it. Let me turn off the front floor. I will not have any endurance in a second. Man, I need to get haste. My powers do not look so bad. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you can die just because your powers haven't recharged fast enough to kill them. All the electric noises make it impossible to hear what I'm saying, so I'm trying to... Anyway, I tried to do a video with my webcam, and I can't find, like, a decent webcam program that will, uh, let me hide my background. But I also have, like, I don't have a real green background. It's kind of a, a teal wallpaper-ish thing behind me. So, I mean, I've found ways to make me pretty much... and make it disappear, and my head was kind of like, uh, what do they call it? Cell shaded so I'd be like a, sh a cell shaded dude. And uh, I mean, that's kind of interesting, but it's not really looking at me. I mean, like I said, I'd rather be able to see the chat and uh, see the game and just hear a voice than see someone's face in the way a lot of people are like, it shows the emotion. And it's like, yeah, the, all those reaction videos people watch, like, I react to the new Sonic trailer. And it's like, oh my god, that looks awful. What were they thinking? Even the generic hero's journey, military chasing, the thing they don't understand thing, and then at the end they'll be like, Only Sonic can defeat Dr. Robotnik, and the military guy will like, salute him, you know? <laughs> like, alright. Literally, you can just predict the entire plot of this movie just by watching the, the trailer once. So it's like, yeah, go back to the drawing board entirely, hire a real writer. Real writer. Look at all the Sonic games and then say, we will not make our plot anything like a single one of these games. None of them have a decent plot, because it's Sonic's never been about the plot, and not Mario either. Except Sonic never got the benefit of a, a rescuing. Oh, so the Fracteen is this object, and uh, the Mender is the first thing I'm taking out. I probably... Oh, the Fracteen creator here too. Alright. I could have paid attention to what was going on, but my brain kind of gets stuck on uh, one task, like doing the commentary. Reading the text was enough to steal my brain away. Alright, do we have the Fractine's creator over here? Of course, it has to select the furthest stuff first. It drives me nuts. Okay, the inventor's way over there. He is in this room. Which one of these is the lieutenant? There's the lieutenant. Kill him first. The truck is... Like, all these guys are, um, they're ranged attackers for the most part. So my cool little ability that steals all their endurance, that doesn't hit hard, but it steals, like, their endurance. So they can only attack me a couple more times, and then they basically can't do anything. It's nice to have them taking out the runners, but they're not doing a good enough job. So yeah, this is the Night Ward, and I'm still fighting Clockwork in the Night Ward. If you notice, the clockwork looks completely different here than they do in uh, King's Row. You gotta, gotta wonder what the clockwork thing looks like now, considering how he looks like before with a clockwork steampunk body and a giant robot brain in the water. Alright, there's the inventor. 
just gonna take him out real fast. I don't even need to use anything. The highest level thing I saw him was just level 29. When, uh... Okay, alright, well, that's great. We did it. I'm gonna take this out. Oh man, I need to buy a new mouse pad. It keeps moving with my hand. I guess they get old. Or maybe the surface I have them on just doesn't grip. Who knows? Oh man, there got people talking to me. I'm not talking to you right now. Alright. Can I call this weird contact that gave me the oh no. This guy's in the uh There it is, alright. So I gotta go over to these guys. Oh, they're right there, no problem, cool. Hello, three books. I did your quest. The frack teen was destroyed and its inventor was put out of commission. She wouldn't be repeating that performance. Or she won't be wouldn't she wouldn't be repeating that performance, Solar Knight, Epoch, and Mercenary. Now we need to escape to the surface. That was incorrect, that's why it's so hard to read this up. The booming voice came in over the intercom. It was that of infinity. Meddlesome fools, he bellowed. You think you can destroy my weapon and then live? I will deal with all of you personally. The books are anxious to finish the story. Ask about missions. The first book of the trilogy opens at a random page. Solar Knight and Epoch made their way through the lab. They knew that the leader of the robots was overseeing the last part of the operation personally, and they could strike a great blow if they did, if they could take him out. The robots had succeeded in planting their devices all over the valley. There was no denying it. It, it was just down to Solar Knight and Epoch. Solar Knight and Epoch to stop them from being activated, so not mercenary, I guess. I was like, Merc and mercenary. Their investigation had told them there are four computers that need to be shut down in order to prevent the catastrophe from befalling the valley. Using the equal parts from Stealth, Epoch, and Solar Knight must make their way to the lab. The controls lie. Where the controls lie. Yeah, all well. Alright, so then I guess all their missions are just going to be like, come over here and click on this magic portal. And I go into the mission. Alright, so wait. Oh, crap. I didn't reset it, so now it's going to be like way levels above me with yeah huge groups and levels above me let's double check this thing all right it's time to save the day all right i don't remember what i said it as so i think i'll talk to you first yeah come on for some reason mercenary was like i can't go all right yes i know you're talking i just really don't care what you have to say right now because i'm more worried about resetting the mission and i i need to reset the mission i can talk to you again anyway First, I got. First, I got a ski. Epoch's the level 32 companion. What are we gonna fight here? Level 32s. Let's see. There's probably a purple in there somewhere. Let's give it a try. Give it a try. If I, uh, if I can't do it, if I suck this up, then uh, I can always go out and reach other difficulty. But I might be okay. Remember, this is set to plus two with uh, two people instead of one. So everything is a little bit higher than me. Two levels to be precise. Uh -huh. That's the max I would like to see. If I see 33, I'm going to be kind of sad because I'm just going to miss so much. It's going to be frustrating. I'm not sure. I've been playing uh, a brute a lot lately, and I'm having a ton of fun playing him. And I'm like, maybe I want to focus on making the brute my main dude. It's kind of awesome. I mean, I'm loving this. I'm, sh I'm shooting people with electricity. The brood is also electricity. And uh, I'm, I've been making videos of them, so you probably have seen them. I made it one that I one that had. Uh... Yeah, we're doing fine so far. I mean, I'm I'm getting hurt a little bit, but as long as they stay uh, level 32 max and there's no uh, bosses around the corner that are purple to me, uh, I'll be fine. All right. Yeah, level three. I think not what I want to see. And there's probably more than one. Yeah, two in a row right there. They're gonna, they're gonna mess me up good. I'll, I'll start shooting the one he's shooting. Focus fire is a good thing. Keeping in there and making things that they don't need to come into the hallway. I love how he's an electric blaster too. Looks like a martial artist. Oh come on! How did that happen? Two were over. There's something called a sweeper. He wants to sweep the floor with me. This. See, I wish, like, he was right there. He should be right there in my team menu. So I can see his health and know when he's being an idiot and he's going to die. All I can see now is his arrow is purple. And if I click on him, he has no health. And if he dies, I'm going to be alone in this mission. I'm 
but reset it. I'm not willing to uh, put up with him dying. I understand. Okay, is there a mender around? Yep. Oh, good. Mender, you are the bane of my existence, and I hate you so much. I'm going to take all your endurance so you can't use your magical powers. And that's back up. Okay, I'm totally dying. You probably already died. Commander. Thank you so much right now. I wonder if, like, when I finish killing you two, if he, like, comes back to life or if I'm just, like, screwed. Because, oh, dude, come on. I had enough. Just die. Like, I'm living through this okay, so why can't the guy who came in here with me live through it okay? I think I have his stuff on here. Alright, so, is he dead? Alright, so he just said nothing. He's just gone. Like, okay, that was fun. I, I didn't live through it. So annoying. Why make these guys useless? I mean, yes, I could probably survive this whole mission without him, but I don't want to. He's part of the mission. His, now his text that he would say, his dialogue that he'd say through the mission is gone, and I lose that. Of course, I didn't talk to him when I went in. Now I'll talk to him. We'll see how it goes. All right. Here we go, here we go. Come on. One second. I got it. Alright, now I can finally concentrate on what I'm doing. Uh, set adjust the team level to, or adjust the notoriety to zero and the team size to two. That, that should make it be very normal. I have to reset the mission by selecting another mission. And then select this one again. Yes, I want to. Alright, actually. Alright, so that's... Save the valley is the main mission. I really feel like I'm saving a valley by going into a uh, a thing, you know, a giant lab-looking place. I'm going to save the valley by being in a lab. I mean, if that's where they're making something to destroy everything, I guess that might make sense. All right. Let's go, he says. Let's read his text this time. Epoch steeled himself. We must be ready for anything. These robots are being controlled by someone, and I am afraid to be right if it is who I think it is. He said Solar Knight even knew better than to press the issue. So he let him continue. Any questions before we go in? Are you going to be okay? He was confirmed. Okay. There are four computers in there, began Epoch. We need to shut down each one that will be disabled the devices around that set up the valley, okay? We can't leave even one of them running or we have failed the tax that has been handed to us, he continued. If we run into the leaders of the robots, we should do our best to take him. He may even be the key to everything. Well, yes, I agree. Okay, so he's level 30, and I'm level 30. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, I can't use that or he won't come with me. Can't be super speeding around. Your your own companion will be like, where'd you go? I can't see what you to do. Okay, so that's a good sign. And I have to take them all out anyway. I'm gonna be the lieutenant. I wanna put them in this thing. I mean, if I have to use my seal as a group, I don't see that as a bad, bad thing. It comes up pretty quickly. Don't you dare run away. Oh wow, he took out like most of the minions for me. I bet he's injured. I bet he's freaking injured. The tiniest bit. I don't know if, how well he regens. But I gotta make sure that everything is sort of attacking me. Or else he's gonna end up dead again, and I'm gonna, just gonna be annoyed because I get really sick of NPCs that, you know, they're like, heal me. Look at that. Look at that. He did a AoE thing. Alright. He's not hurt. Alright, let's 
clear it from my main attack again. This is my heaviest hitter, followed by a cage. It's supposed to, it's supposed to hit harder than my heavy hitter. It's supposed to be superior damage, but it does jack really. Alright, just stacking him. I don't want that. Yeah, so yeah, looks, looks, looks pretty good. Set it to, to zero, but then set the team size to two so that there's more robots to kill. Cause and there'll be some. There will definitely be some level 31s, exactly. Well, let's see here. Oh, he saw it. Take out the minions. Take out the minions. Oh, wrong one. Alright, I will have to finish this mission and then call it a... Oh, come on, guys. I am attacking him. Where are you? He's gonna get hurt and die again, and I'm gonna be really annoyed. Oh, he's not that hurt. That's good. The purple seems to manage to kill him a lot faster. Alright. I don't even know if there's a point in going into this room, but I need to kill all four computers, so. Oh, it's just a minion. Damn. Hit the wrong one. everything that's attacking me. Whether I like it or not, it's the only way to keep him alive. It's really stupid. I could have killed one of them all one at a time already. No, oh, he's running around. I want to attack that guy. Why are you attacking him? I'm the one who's going to kill you. How hard is he? Phew, I'm managing to keep him alive this time. No computer in here, just decent experience points. Shall we go tally-ho? So many hallways. Why have this many hallways? Just stupid. Oh crap. There's the robot's leader. I bet he hits super hard. Rather she or he or I don't really care what their gender is. I just care that they have a gender. Then the menu comes in. That's pretty good. Alright, first computer found. Come on, there we go. How's he doing? He's a little bit hurt. It's not like I can give him these things. There, yeah. Yeah, it's not like I can say, here you go, inspiration for you. No, he's not on my team. In an actual team sense. Alright, this guy's a lieutenant. This thing's almost up. I just like to be able to blast him good. All my main attacks so uh take down these tenants super quick. I really wish that this short circuit was a real attack and not just kind of a joke. But then that's the only one up I'm like, no, oh, it's not really much of an attack. Alright, well there was that computer in here. Is there any other computers in here? I don't think there is. Come on, dude. Make sure that they don't attack him, or else he's gonna die, and I'm gonna miss his dialogue at the end. Or he'll show up and, like, retard a little on the side, and it'll just be annoying. Come on! Let's die! See, I'm getting hurt. Better heal myself. There we go. I'm doing really well on endurance. I really, I outfitted this guy's ability to uh, keep his endurance up very well. I, now I need to work on his health. And I don't have very many of my, uh, my targets set up very well. Most of them I can pass and then reduce endurance cost on them. And nothing to bolster how well they work. Oh, you did a pretty good job there and you're not hurt. Oh, there's another computer, yes! just want them all to be in like two rooms, you know? You don't want to... Like, there's that office video. Or, or, I don't even know what they call them. Office levels construct? I don't know. When, you're, when your mission looks like an office building, and it doesn't look like a rundown one, it looks like a rundown one. Um, just be a 
real maze of frustration. You can just be going around there and trying to make sure that anything attacking him dies. But yeah, this is for Halo so far. It's a good experience, and it really is, because there's twice as many uh, guys to kill or knock out in the mission. Come on, AoEs. Here, we'll try this one. There you go, Mender. Actually, um, I mean, Endurance. Electric character is one of their specialties. Is, uh, they reduce the endurance of the things that they fight. Alright, there's another computer. I bet all four of them are in this room, actually. And I got, like, a bar of XP doing it this way. I have a friend who, uh... Hmm, I swear, I only hit three computers. It said all four computers. I hit this one and that one. And then there was one over here. I only saw three computers, but I defeated the mission anyway. Oh well, I don't care. Continue on. And then I will turn in this mission, and then this video will have to take a break, because I have something very important to do. Sorry I'm not funnier, I guess. I mean, a lot of people have themselves, like, on the screen with all sorts of, like, buttons they push to make, like, wow, ah, and stupid, you know, things happen and whatever. I'm just... Even it all spool and subtle. Uh, Alright, so Solar Knight and Epoch made their way to the surface, content in knowing that the valley would be at peace again. In the back of their minds, they knew that Infinity's escape meant that their days of respite were numbered, and one day, perhaps, one day soon, they would be tasked with saving the day again. Solar Knight looked down. Uh, Solar Knight looked forward to that day. He had grown much in his adventures with Epoch. Epoch was an excellent mentor, and Solar Knight hoped they could fight alongside another, one another forever. The end. <laughs> He's my my mentor, and I am so glad I fought with him, and he said so many things, like, let's go. <laughs> the whole mission. So I didn't miss out on him dying that one time, because he just would have said, let's go. Hey, look, it's uh, Radiant, Radiant Flux. A corrupter. He's level 31. I see if I can get his info before he leaves. No data available. Yep, he left too soon. Oh well. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed your time watching me play City of Heroes. I will play again very soon.